What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dad Does Videos. This is the inside glass of a double oven that we have. And as you can see here, it's quite frankly a disaster. I can't remember the last time we cleaned this thing. And if we did clean it, it was probably like 10 years ago. So we are going to do a video today about how we're going to clean this and you can follow along. Now, if you are a frequenter of Dad Does Videos, you know that we just put together a video to clean the inside glass of our top oven on our double oven and we simply used a dishwasher tablet. So if you haven't checked that out, the link's on your screen right now. Go ahead and give that a shot. It worked really, really well. For this though, we're gonna use some familiar favorites. First, we're gonna get a bowl. We are going to use some baking soda. We are going to use some white vinegar. Pretty common things to clean a lot of household items. We're also going to throw in some dishwashing soap. So the rationale for all of these, the baking soda is a great soft abrasive. We've got the vinegar for some acid to kick in there. And then I'm gonna throw in the dishwashing soap because guess what, there's, there's grease on here. And what does dishwashing soap do? It cuts through the grease. So it only seems logical to throw that in as well. Let's get into it. All right, so get your bowl and start throwing some ingredients in. We are not gonna sit here and say, hey, you need a half a cup of this or a quarter cup of that. We're just gonna pour some stuff in. And um, we could always make the, the paste that we're gonna make a little thicker or not as thick by um, adding more of our baking soda or throwing in some water. So let's throw in some baking soda into our bowl here. And again, I am not measuring. So we just want to create kind of a paste that's gonna go over top of all of our glass. So however big your glass is, your glass area, throw enough in there for that. Now don't go wild on the vinegar. I would assume most of you know who are watching this that there is certainly going to be a combustion here when we put the vinegar in with the the baking soda, and that's uh, something we don't want too much of, but we certainly want a little bit of that because that's gonna help create our, um, our cleaning power. As you can see, that's foaming up a bit. And then we're gonna throw in a few squirts of our, our dishwashing soap as well. And we're gonna start to mix this up. My hunch is we'll probably need to throw in Maybe a little bit of water here and um, a little bit of baking soda. So you've got a nice paste going right here, as you can see. Not terribly liquidy, but liquidy enough. So I'm gonna get some gloves on and start to spread this all over our glass. All right, got our fancy gloves on. We're just gonna Use the spatula to get this on. Of course, you can use whatever instrument you would prefer. You could use your hands. It doesn't matter. Just gonna get all this on here. We're gonna start to spread this around. Once you're satisfied with it, I'm just gonna leave it for a half hour and that's what I'm gonna do. Let the, uh, the concoction work its magic, so to speak. Then we'll come back and start to, to scrub away at it. I'm just trying to even this out a little bit. Okay, so we'll let that sit for a half hour and get back to it. I've got a, uh, 
a sponge here is kind of your garden variety kitchen sponge. I like these because they have, uh, I don't know the technical term, but the more spongy side and then kind of the rougher spongy side that you typically use on pots and pans for kind of caked on stuff. So we're gonna make use of that. And then for some of the crevices, an old toothbrush works really, really well. So you just gotta get some elbow grease going. And I did put the sponge under some hot water. So we'll just keep doing this. I will probably fast forward some of the video so you don't have to sit here and watch this whole thing as I clean, but we're just going to be doing this over and over and over and over again until we get to a point where we are satisfied. And I'll probably show you some spots in the video where it's starting to look a little bit cleaner and some progress. I do highly advise once you get a good kind of lather going with the sponge to use the back side of it. It really cuts through some of the, uh, the dirt and grease and cooked on gunk in a really safe way. It's not gonna scratch your glass or anything like that. I'm not sure if it's gonna come in perfectly on the video itself. I'm gonna try to get some of this stuff out of the way, but we are starting to see some progress right here. It's still brownish, but it's not as brown as some of the surrounding areas. And this is where we've been concentrating most of our scrubbing so far. All right, again, not sure if you can tell on the video, but we're concentrating mostly right here it's starting to look much, much better over there. You can see we haven't really gotten to that point yet. Don't be afraid while you're doing this to clean off your sponge a little bit, get some more hot water on there. As we all know, hot water does a lot of wondrous work when you are cleaning things. All right, so we're making some really good progress here, as you can see, or at least hopefully see on the video. So I get some of this cleaner out of the way. A lot of this is clean over here. We have some brown spots at the bottom that we eventually get to, but we're about, I don't know, 12 or 13 minutes in right now. So you just have to keep going. Don't expect miracles right off the bat. Just keep going. The more you kind of get the cleaning solution into the grease, the easier it will be to come off and eventually it will come off. It just takes time. Getting there, we still have a few minutes of work, but we're probably at about, Oh, 20 minutes or so and we still have some stubborn stains there that just won't come off so we're just gonna keep working at them. I find the toothbrush particularly effective at cleaning the areas where the glass and the ceramic part of your stove meet. All right as you can see here we've gotten this probably as clean as we can so we are just going to get some paper towels or if you have a clean rag, you can use that. Put some water on it and remove some of the leftover cleaning solution from the surface. Now watch the magic happen right before your eyes, right? Look at that clean glass. Once you get your surface cleaned, basically removing all that cleaning residue, we're just gonna spray some glass cleaner on the back of the oven. Just make it nice and ready to go. And that is about it, folks. As you can see, this looks a ton better than where we were when we first started with that glass oven that wasn't cleaned for 10 years and look at us now. Thanks for watching everybody.